Researchers from Utah State University are being called in to solve some of the problems at our nation's tallest dam. And they're doing that by building a scale model. As Northern Utah specialist Mike Anderson explains, that what they could learn could also help us here at home. This is a 150th square model of the Oroville Dam, and by doing this, they can take a look at areas that have seen some erosion. They can study that, even look at how the water comes out through the spillway, making recommendations on how to improve the dam in the future. What can be contained in a warehouse here represents some 100,000 square feet per second of water there. This is huge. Research professor Michael Johnson says the state of California came straight to Utah State University's water lab for help in fixing the Oroville Dam. This will go into the books for certain as far as uh, dam safety and operations and failures. Last February, concerns over a spillway in Northern California led to evacuations. This miniature dam represents the Oroville after repairs that need to be in place by November. Johnson says it lets them do what computers can't. The computer models are getting better. They're not perfect. We just can't model turbulence. On top of that, the data gathered here can help us in Utah. Everything we learn on, on dams uh, can be used to increase the, the, the pool of knowledge that help engineers understand better what's uh, needed to make sure that they have safe structures. And for the students that get to help work on it, putting all of this together in one month's time. It's cool because it's real. It's a rare chance to do some actual good. You really have value in what you're doing because, I mean, this is a real problem that we're going to find a real solution for. So far, Johnson says the recommended changes are performing well here, meaning after repairs, the Oroville Dam should be able to handle well over 250,000 cubic feet per second. That's an event that we don't ever expect to happen, but we're designing for it. On the real dam, this area is going to be filled with cement that's about 100 feet deep, so it's a lot of cement, but they'll make it better able to hold up to 277 cubic square foot per second of water. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.